So for today's video, I sit down with lender Gustavo with New American Funding to learn some of the new down payment assistance programs that are out there. Of course, there's a lot of information and a lot of down payment assistance programs are kind of scammy in nature, but there are some legit ones that work in all 50 states. I like to bring on professionals that are actually doing the thing that they are talking about. And I was, I learned so much in this podcast episode. I had to, had to, had to turn the camera on and make sure that the game that was being given is shared with the audience. So if you get value from today's podcast, let me know in the comments below which down payment assistance program you're familiar with and which one you may not have been aware of. Mine was definitely the bond program that's out there. So enjoy today's podcast and let's get the show started. Now, the three things that we do check is credit, income, and assets with the Chinoa, the one, the specifically one that you were mentioning. I love Chinoa. It's an FHA, yeah, FHA product. Um, they do help with three and a half percent down payment okay. um, or five percent. Um, I think the 5%, the 3.5%, if they're in the house, if they pay 36 months consecutively it is, and there's no late, it is actually forgivable. They don't have to repay that 3.5% back. Wow. How are you, my man? Hey, how's it going? Hey, all hey, is how's everything, man. All is well. All is well. Thank you so much for meeting with me. Couldn't have happened at a more opportune time because um, awesome. I have a, a client case that I'm working right now. I've heard a lot about New American Funding. But mm -hmm. what intrigued me was you mentioned in the email that um you guys offer a lot of down payment assistance program and you and and you don't have to be a first time home buyer or you don't have to live in a home in the it doesn't have to be your primary residence, but you can still buy another property, no money down. Mm -hmm. So I'm I'm super excited to learn about this because I want to take advantage of this as well as my clients. Thank you so much for uh letting me uh join your meeting here. Uh, Absolutely. Thank you for the opportunity. Yes, definitely. Absolutely. So, so tell me a little bit about American funding. Um, I've heard of you guys, but uh -huh. are you guys licensed in every state? You know, tell me, walk me through it. So new American funding is actually privately owned. We're actually one of the, if, if not the largest, last time I checked privately owned company. So that means we're not publicly traded. We have a, you know, owner, uh, Rick and Patty, uh, they, you know, they, they work every day here at the office. Well, not here at this office, but our California location, we are licensed in 48 States. We're not licensed in Hawaii. We're licensed in, uh, uh Hawaii and New York. Those are the okay. only two states that we're not licensed in. And uh yeah, man, we've been operating since roughly, I think it was 2004. Um, I've been with the office for about three years now. Nice. And we offer we're actually a direct lender. So there's actually no overlays. All our guidelines come directly from Fannie Mae, from Freddie Mac, from HUD. Nice. So whatever the guidelines are, we can definitely help out. Um, yeah, and we have a, a, a loan program for almost for any type of, of borrower. Man. Um, you know, the three things that we do check is credit, income, and assets with the Chinoa, the one the specifically one that you were mentioning. I love Chinoa. It's an FHA, yeah, FHA product. Um, they do help with three and a half percent down payment okay. um, or five percent. Um, I think the five percent, the three and a half percent, if they're in the house, if they pay 36 months consecutively, it is and there's no late, it is actually forgivable. They don't have to repay that three and a half percent back. Wow. That's awesome. Okay. Yeah. And then five okay. percent, uh, they have to be there for let me see here. I wrote it down so I don't forget. Uh, 120 payments, no late, and then they, you know, that is forgivable as well. Okay. So it definitely helps out. So I, I know, of course, about your standard VA, FHA, conventional. Um, mm -hmm. The most important thing that I always like to ask for my clients and things of that nature is um, how uh, competitive are you guys on uh, interest rates uh, that you charge for, for your respective products? Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, the fact that you guys are a lender and not a bank. I know sometimes you I hear clients say, well, I, I want to go with Truist because that's my bank. I want to go with, you know, this credit union because that's a bank. But I, I kind of try to open clients' eyes up and say, you know, there's more than one way to be funded and you just want to make sure it's a reputable co company. But how are you guys from a competitive standpoint as it relates to interest rate, which is obviously the bottom line for clients? Yeah, yeah. So we do a lot of advertising on Zillow, NerdWallet and all that good stuff. So in order for you to advertise there, you know, you have to be co very competitive when it comes to rates. Uh, and being a direct lender, you know, there's no middleman. So, you know, we pass on the savings to our borrowers. And if there's something that we need to do, you know, by working here, I do have a little bit of leverage um, with regards to trying to match a rate if there's something that we need to do. Mm -hmm. um, but our rates are very, very competitive, Mark. Extremely right. competitive. 
So I do want, I have a lot of investors, uh, mm -hmm. investor clients, um, and mom and pop investor clients as well. Mm -hmm. So what intrigued me a lot as well is the, um, the program that you guys offer that has no, it's a no money down, mm -hmm. but the person doesn't have to occupy that. Long. So like, is that an investor geared product? Because obviously I know that you can be, you can use FHA, for example, for any home that you own or occupy. If you're within the guidelines, you can use conventional for any home that you own or occupy. And then obviously, if you want to be an investor, you might have to put anywhere from 10% to, or, or up to 20, 25% down. So mm -hmm. tell me about that product, because it sounds like it's geared towards making it easier for real estate investors. So yeah, so it is an FHA product. You are 100% accurate. And FHA is geared for primary use, but there is, you know, things that you can do if you already own a property. Right. I believe it has to be 100 or 150 miles away from the other one. And if it's a bigger property, right. you can use FHA, right? And as long as it makes sense and the underwriter, but if you have like a half a million dollar home and you're buying a condo, it's not going to make sense because it looks like investment. But if you're upgrading, let's say you have a three bedroom home for, you know, 350,000, you're getting a four or five bedroom home, you know, when it's a little bit further out, you can have a second FHA. So it is an FHA product and it has to go through the FHA guidelines. Okay. So we have to check that, but we can, there, there is certain circumstances that we can use it for a second home. And, and, and you can occupy both respectively. Correct. Correct. But they yes. have to be, um, don't quote me. I don't know if it's a hundred or 150 miles away. They can't be close right. to each other and it has to be, you know, an upgrade, an upgrade. It not okay. look like an investment. If it, you know, if you're having a big house and you're buying a condo, it's not going to work out. Right. It's going to be an investment. Can folks take advantage of this? If they, let's say they're in a two bedroom currently, for example, and they want to move to a duplex or a triplex, which essentially is an upgrade. Yes. Um, but obviously because they got the first property, it's 150 miles away. You know, for example, mm -hmm. uh, I and uh, some clients of mine, they like to invest in like South Carolina mm -hmm. um, or Alabama. Um, and so they would be able to take advantage if they found like a duplex, for example, or triplex. One to four properties, one, one to four units. Yeah, we can do up to four units. Yeah. Um, so keep in mind that it has to be a, a primary use. So they have, if they have to work remotely, right. or like if you're doing in a different state, like, like you mentioned, South Carolina or another right. state, uh, right. we can do that. But let's say, you know, if they work out of their office and we can't, they're not being transferred to that state or they can't work remotely, then it's going to be an issue because how are they going to commute every day? So it just has to make sense, right? We still have to, to operate sense. within the FHA guidelines. But okay. if they have a, a letter, um, an offer letter that they're being transferred to that state, right. um, or if they have a um, a letter from their employer that they can work remotely, um, you know, oh, okay. yeah, yeah. If, you know, I, your IT guys, you know, there's a lot of people that haven't gone back to work or right. they don't have to be in the office every day. You know, we can definitely help out as long as we get a letter from that employer saying that they're remote hundred percent and right. they don't have to operate within the um, office settings yeah. and definitely, definitely. Yeah. So Gustavo, let me ask you this, man. Um, and I appreciate all of the insight that you're sharing. This is, like I said, I wanted to hop on a quick call um, because mm -hmm. I said, you know, I know that products change quite often. Um, the environment that we're in right now, where interest mm -hmm. rates are kind of now hovering back and forth. First time home buyer programs, what do you what do you guys look at and mm -hmm. what what's um what's the most ideal? Is it still Chinoa? Or are there any other first time home buyer programs, you know, that may not may be nationwide? Uh, that the folks need to be aware of. So there are actually a few. Um, okay. I mean, obviously there's FHA, you know, right. first time home buyers with as little as three and a half percent down, but we also have right. USDA. Um, if it's considered a rural area, we can do 100% financing. Obviously, your wow. VAs are 100% financing. Right. Uh, we do have the bond program that they have up to $7,500 for the down payment that they would qualify for. If they what is it called again? The bond, uh, the, the bond program. Yeah. Here would be the Florida bond program and in Georgia will be the Georgia bond program. Um, and they qualify up to 7,500 for their down payment. Now, okay. all these down payment assistance and first time home buyers program, they look at three things, right? What we call the CIA, which right. is credit income and assets. Credit so it's a credit application. I can take it over the phone with them very easy, or I can send them a link, whichever way is best. Um, income, if they're W-2, last two years of pay stuff, or last two W-2s and last uh, two pay stubs, most recent. Yeah. And um, if they're uh, assets, two months bank statements. Um, if it. they're self-employed, we just need a 1099, two years in tax returns um, for the business and for personal so we can average it out. 
Okay. But uh, we do check, take a look at those three things, CIA, okay. credit, income, assets. Credit, income, assets. Now, what's the minimum credit score uh, that for that for the majority of these programs? So for FHA, we can do that as low as 580 score. Um, it okay. just depends what's on the score, though, right? There's a lot yeah. of things that are on the score. Like if they have over $2,000 in pending collections, yeah. um, if they have uh, medical collections, that's fine. We don't look at that. That could be whatever. Yeah. But if it's anything over $2,000 that's outstanding, they may have to pay that off or pay that down and get into a settlement, especially if it's mortgage or whatever the case may be. It shows like signs of hardship in the last 12 months. Right. You know, that may be an issue, but we can take a look at that as well. But we can we can work with as low as 580. Um, one of the really cool things that we do offer at New American Funding is the uh, credit simulator. Uh, mm -hmm. We're not a credit repair company. We don't charge anything, but we do have this really cool software that you put their credit on a simulator and it'll okay. tell us you know, what they need to do in order to get to the score that they want to get to, right? So if we were trying to get the 580 or a little bit higher, whatever the case may be, we yeah. can always put them in a simulator. I'll send them a snapshot of what they need to do and I'll CC the realtor so we're all on the same page. Yeah. If they do those items and they give us the letter that they did it, mm -hmm. I'll send it over to our credit bureaus and then, you know, ask for a rapid rescore within three to five business days. We'll, you know, do a, a another, you know, credit update and they'll do the rescore. And, you know, and you guys do this at no additional no cost. cost this is just to help gustavo that's yeah. game changing man because yeah. yeah. i i have a lot of folks that that hit me up you know obviously as a real estate agent i, I pride myself on being uh, a one-stop shop and so you know i hear a lot of folks talk about this credit repair company usually it's some guy or gal on social media that's mm -hmm. you know, very scammy and so for me i'm of the mindset you know just yes. try to do what you can do on your own mm -hmm. um, Try to pull your own credit report and, mm -hmm. and see what the big ticket items are and let a lender mm -hmm. tell you, OK, this is something you, you need to address. Or don't worry about this. So I'm glad that you mentioned that um, mm -hmm. you guys really don't look at at what they may have gotten a, 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 a discount tire uh, mm -hmm. credit card five or six years ago. That may not be as important as the bill that they just got 30 12 months ago like, that's awesome like like that's really really helpful information for folks to know because i think that's what keeps a lot of my clients out of the game because they really think they they can't do it are you a real estate agent looking to jumpstart your career join our online agent network and gain access to the support and resources you need to succeed one of the most effective ways to attract clients in this industry is through social media. And I can tell you in my entire time as a real estate professional, I have not knocked on one door and yet I've still generated several million dollars worth of sales per year. And our team is here to help you do the same thing. Click the link in today's show notes today or visit IamTheTribe.com to learn more about this amazing opportunity. Now back to the show. Yeah. And a lot of people are complaining about the rates right now, right? As you know, rates are a little bit higher. We do offer these buy down programs. So as long as the seller um, are offering incentives for closing costs, they can actually yeah. buy down the rate. So we have this really cool product, which is called three, two, one buy down, okay. which let's say their interest rate today would be, you know, five and a half. So it, it, if they are getting incentives from the sellers, we would do this calculation of how much they would need to get from the seller. So yeah. the first year would be 3% less. So five and a half would be the first year they're paying what two and a half percent interest rate. The second wow. year will be two percent less, three and a half, and then the third year will be one percent less. And then after that, it goes into the regular, right. you know, let's say it's five and a half or whatever the case may be for the thirty year fixed. But the first three years they're getting a, a huge, you know, uh, discount, yeah. um, and that helps, right? Because right now we know that this this is not a long term deal with regards to the rates, right? They're, right. They they have they're show signs that it's going to be lowering soon, but at least they can offer and reap the benefits of a lower rate right now. They're not going to see these higher interest rates, especially if they're getting incentives and the seller is the one that's actually paying for this. So that helps out a lot as well. And that's always something that I pride myself on. My team and I, we are master negotiators. We ain't, we ain't going to say this is a buyer's market, mm -hmm. but um, there's definitely a lot more wheeling and dealing that we're able to do for our clients um, that we represent as buyers. So, you know, I, I'll let my folks know to give me a call. We can walk through that. But that's almost kind of like Gustavo getting the benefits of an adjustable rate mortgage on the onset, but still mm -hmm. being in a fixed product, which I'm a big fan of. Correct. So that's that's yeah. that, that's incredible. So it's not as volatile, right? With the adjustable, you never know right. what the market's doing and it right. could go higher, it could go lower. So people are right. kind of scared to get into those types of product. Right. But this, you know, this one, you actually, it's a fixed product. 
Yeah. And, you know, they're getting the benefits in the first three years, which they're paying less. And so they're not going to be seeing these rate increases for the next three years. So that actually helps out a lot. So last few questions, man. And uh, thank you, like I said, for jumping on this uh, call with me. W what programs do you guys have specific for investors that, um, because, you know, interest rates where they are now are kind of creeping to hard money interest rate territory. So you're kind of better off working with, you know, a, a, a lender lender, uh, you know, ver or versus like going the hard money route. But what are some of the options that for someone that says, I am an investor, I mm -hmm. want to continue to invest in, uh, you know, do you do the 203k? Do you do what you know, what are some of the products geared towards investors that you guys right. offer? Yeah, we do have the renovation 203k that you mentioned for right. investors. Um, a lot of investors, they're self-employed, so maybe they don't file tax returns. You know, right. we have bank statement loans. We even have fully stated that we don't check anything oh, wow. um, with regards to that. And as low as 15%, depending on their credit, um, okay. they do require a little bit more down payments with regards to investment just because it's a higher risk loan. Right. But uh, we can actually definitely help them, you know, if they're not filing for taxes or whatever the case may be in the renovation right. loans, if they qualify for that. Um, I always recommend sending over all the documents and then we'll go over the list of items that we can get them pre-approved for. Okay. And we never say no to the client, right? It's either they're approved today or they're pre-approved within the next six months, three months, 30 days, whatever the case may be. But at least now we have a game plan, right? right. Now we know exactly what we need to do if they want to invest or if they were looking to buy for their first time. So yeah, we do offer um, several. Uh, we also have you know a lot of outside the box lending with regards to foreign nationals if they're here from out of the country. Yeah. Um, there's lots of programs programs that we have with regards to uh, investment, if they're looking to, to get into, but I always recommend send over the documents and then we'll go from there. Because a lot of times they tell me, oh, we, we make this and we do that. But and then when we check, you know, maybe it's not 100% or maybe their credit report, they don't know what's going on. So once right. we check those things, we can definitely find out exactly what they're pre-approved for and we'll have a game plan moving forward. Man, that's exciting, man. Like I said, I, I've heard a lot of great things about New American. Um, the reviews are, are great. And like I said, Gustavo literally used that email. I, I don't know. I mean, obviously as a realtor, my information is out there. Um, but man, you you hit me up and it was just the time. It was just serendipity, man, because I literally have a case um, of a client of mine whose student loans were just forgiven. Um, mm -hmm. Nearly $100,000 of student loans were just forgiven. And so oh, that wow. was the main thing that was that she felt like was keeping her out of the game um, be, from a debt to income standpoint. And if you can just walk folks through what debt to income is and what are the factors that you guys look at? Cause she was elated when she found out her student loans were forgiven. Yes. So how does that so, position her? So debt to income ratio, a lot of people, you know, they're like, Oh, I make a hundred thousand dollars and I can't qualify for a home that's three fifty. but a friend of mine that made 40,000, he bought a house that's higher. So uh, debt to income ratio is basically 45% of whatever you make can go towards your debt, right? right. So for every thousand dollars, four hundred and fifty dollars can go towards your debt. So it just depends on how much debt you have, too, right? It's not just right. a uh, how much money I make; it's how much money I make as opposed to how much money I spend at the end of the month, right? If you make ten thousand dollars, but you have three a month, and you you know have three car payments, a bunch of student loan, you know right. maybe you're not pre-approved for someone that makes a lot less, maybe five thousand, half of that, but you know right. have all their cars paid off, no credit cards. So it's very important for us to take a look at the debt to income ratio. And there's ways to offset the debt to income ratio, right? We can right. pay off some accounts. We can get, if they're in a student loan, we can actually get into a payment plan. And once we get into a payment plan, right. you know, that'll def definitely help offset the debt to income ratio. Or it's a lot of times we add a non-occupant co-borrower. We can always do that. That's something that we also offer. If, you know, maybe they're not pre-approved, you know, for the certain amount that they want to be, but maybe they have a grandma, you know, that's retired, has no debt. And even right. though she's on social security, she makes $2,000 a month, but you know, right. her house is paid off. So we can actually utilize that $2,000 to help them out a month, which will yeah. actually make a difference for us to make or break the deal. So, you know, we're actually a uh, preferred lender for DR Horton, meaning oh, if wow. someone walks into DR Horton today and they're not, you know, they don't have a 700 credit score or two years of good tax return and all that good stuff. They don't yeah. give it to us. So we can take a stab at it because we have a lot of, you know, we think outside the box, man, because, you know, it, not everybody is ready to, you know, buy today. Right. But if we're able to do these types of things, we can definitely help out. So debt to income, there's a lot of things that we can do in order to offset the debt to income ratio with regards to adding a coal borrower um, or, you know, paying off some debt. I love it. And, and, I, and I'm not... 
I'm not quite Dave Ramsey in, in that capacity. I'm like, pay off the debt that matters. So that's good to know that um, more people are in the game than they really think. And like I said, the market that we were in two years ago, um, it was very, very competitive. Now, you know, I won't say it's a buyer's market. Do you think it's a buyer's market? I, I think it's shifting a little it's bit, shifting. right? I mean, I don't think we're there yet, but, you know, like you said, now there's, I think, it's getting normal, right? Before, what, you know, yeah, like you had a house 350, you know, people are just going crazy, 360, 380. And that's just, you know, I've seen like appraisals come in $60,000 lower, you know, right. six months ago, and people were willing to pay an extra 60000 for the home, you know? Crazy. And now we're seeing things that are back to normal, which a house is actually 350, you know, they're negotiating right. a little bit, 345. I mean, it's not something crazy right. where they're getting a little bit of help with the closing or this and that. So I think it's just, uh, things have been stable a little bit more because it was just crazy back six months ago. Right. right. Uh, I don't know if this is going to continue to be this way. I don't know if it's going to get, you know, up. Uh, you know, obviously we have speculations, but right. we have been seeing the market react the last week and, and actually rates have been going down steadily. So oh, that's great. I think it's definitely going to help, you know, especially with tax season coming up, you know, people start getting their tax refunds, so they're looking to buy, you know, especially summertime. So I think things will start picking back up soon. Well, I, I'm excited because, like I said, in the current market, I've had a couple closings where uh, my buyers walked away with a check because the seller offered, uh, you know, to covering their closing costs. Mm -hmm. um, they were, uh, you know, a VA or a doctor's loan or where the down payment is completely covered. And they literally walked away with a check at closing. And um, that's just, it's it's a great place to be to not only build equity in something versus renting, um, which you are as a renter, you know, you're building your landlord's equity. And um, I'm all about building your own personal equity. And and to be able to do that through some of these programs that you mentioned, Chinoa, game changing program. Um, and then the seller covers your closing costs. And then the program covers your down payment. And then you might walk away literally with a check at closing. So Definitely. super dope, man. Super dope. Definitely. So I'm going to let folks, I'm going to put your contact information uh, in the notes of today's call here. That way, mm -hmm. if folks want to get in touch with you, um, we'll be able to do that. Um, is there any other helpful information in the current market right now that you want to let, you know, let people know? A lot of people are scared in this market. I, you know, I would not be scared. Um, I think like you, like you mentioned right now, we're actually able to negotiate. So even though interest rates are a little bit higher, right. if you're buying six months ago, you would probably, right. you know, even though you're getting a lower rate six months ago, you would probably right. be overpaying for the property. Right. So now, you know, now you're getting a little bit higher rate. Right. And so you're getting a better deal. Like in that instance that you mentioned, you know, with right. regards to him getting a check at closing, that's awesome, you know, and we're right. able to help out more buyers, right. Getting out of the rent game. And a lot of times buyers are telling me, oh, but the interest rates are higher, but I'm saying, man, Either way, you're paying somebody else's mortgage or you're paying your right. mortgage, right? Right. And right now, what are you paying? 100% interest because you never get that money back. Right. So I wouldn't be scared of this market. I think it's a really good time to buy still. Um, a lot of people are saying, you know, once the the market, you know, the 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 interest rates start falling, you can always refinance and get something exactly. else a little bit less as well. And exactly. at least you're able to reap the benefits of home ownership throughout the time and you built equity and you built right. your credit. So right. obviously, I think it's still, you know, it's still a great time to buy, even though it's a little bit scary with the higher interest rates. I, I wouldn't be scared. And, and I think that the most important thing is to make sure that you have a real estate professional that's educating you uh, on the market. And then, of course, a lender that's educating you on um, the money and how to best position things. And and as you mentioned, uh, the ability to refinance, interest rates are going down. You know, it's never a perfect time to buy. Honestly, it just has to be exactly. the perfect time for my buyers. And so I'm walking through that now with folks. But like I said, incredibly excited for these programs that you guys have. So like I said, I'm going to let folks know to click the uh, links in today's call, you know, below. And then we'll, we'll, we'll be in touch, my man, for sure. Awesome. And we also have a really cool marketing team. Um, if you guys need anything with regards to marketing, yeah. um, you know, let me know. Uh, open house flyers, whatever the case may be, if you guys want to do some kind of videos. Yeah. I know we're a little bit far away, but maybe you guys can, you know, snip it there and we'll edit here, whatever the case may be. We're, we're here to help, man. Thank we you. like to think of it as we're a team and we like to offer back. No, it's not just here. Even though you guys are entrusting us with your paycheck, it means a lot to us. So right. whatever we can do to give back and make sure that your business is growing so we can grow as a team. 
it's it's really appreciative. Well, I do want to ask you to that point. So so in addition to that, what other things do you guys do for uh, real estate professionals? So we do have a marketing team. So I can get in touch right. with a local marketing team in uh, Georgia. Right. Okay. Um, we do have one here at the office, obviously, and we right. offer you know uh, whatever we can you know free of charge, unless right. they're doing some kind of Facebook ads or whatever the case may be. That's something I have to right. pay for. We'll create flyers for open houses, yeah. um, headshots, videos for for uh, social media. Wow. We offer all that, and that's something free of charge. All we ask in return is you know your business, obviously. Right. Um, but that's something we don't charge at all. I love it. I love it. All right, Gustavo, I appreciate you. Um, thank you for talking with me and um, we'll definitely be in touch for sure. Thank you so much, Marvin, for the opportunity. Thank right, you. I really appreciate it.